Okay, cool. Well, let's... This is Rachel, everyone. Which camera do I look at? Wherever you want. You can just look talk at me. to each other. Just We're talk. Just, you're captured okay. from everywhere. Don't worry. Don't talk. Honestly... I'm not even going to look at the cameras. I look at don't, Abby don't a lot, look at too. The cameras. Look, I like sometimes look at there. He'll he'll join in sometimes and, you, you know, he kills join I can in. respect that. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, this is Rachel. Hi. Everyone meet Rachel. She's freaking amazing. I met her... How long have I known you for? Two months? I met you at the fair. My... I don't know how to tell time anymore. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't she know, know what's going on. <laughs> Since COVID started, I, I do not know how long time frames have been. And how old are you? 26. 26. And you started YouTube when you were how old? 15. That's crazy. A child. That's wild. I was asking her, I was at her house, we were doing a YouTube video for her, and I was like, what made you want to start YouTube? Went, do you remember what you said? I didn't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> Which I feel like every YouTuber yeah. is like that. I've heard that. Yeah. Which is crazy because then you, people on YouTube, you, you would like want to be friends with them, I feel. Like when I watch YouTube videos, I'm like, they seem really cool. Why don't people like you, you know? It's high school, you know? So high school is just full of people that are insecure about themselves. So all through high school you hated it. The weird thing is, like, I'll look back really fondly. I'm like, well, high school is a great time. But, like, if I actually transported back to that, I'd be like, I was scared to raise my hand in class because people were such dicks. To you. Yeah. Girls and guys. Yeah. Why? I, I, I was just so sexy that they were like, You're oh, like... my gosh. <laughs> I'm intimidated. Did you have a boyfriend? No. I didn't have my first boyfriend until, like, right after high school. Like, at the, at the end of senior year. Yeah. Yeah. Did you want to date or you just... I don't know. I, didn't I think mean, about I guess it. you weren't... You just were maybe too scared to as well. I had crushes on people, but, yeah. like, I didn't want to date anyone. If that would, makes sense. Would you say mean like boys were more mean to you or girls were? Literally both. My biggest, like the most scary bully to me was this dude. I actually I don't even remember his name, but like I mean that's good that you don't remember his name. Mm. Like put that out, you know? Why what would he do? Um, let me think. Like if I said something in class, right? He would then make some like snarky remark in the background and then just start like laughing. Like laughing or try to get other yeah. people to laugh. Now he's being ignored in my DMs, but, like, at he, the time... He DMs you now. Mm. What a fucking jerk. Isn't that weird? What a fuck... Because he sees that you're successful, obviously. Yeah, I also grew boobs, so it could be, like, on top. You do have like, big wow. boobs. That's a fact. It happens. You know. She does have big boobs. I, I don't do. know if you can see them in her channel. Top way. notch. Yeah. <laughs> top notch. <laughs> she definitely does have the knockers. The mm. knockers. I didn't notice them at dinner the other night. No, you know That's what? A- she... I don't know. I didn't notice them at first either. I hide them. You do hide them. But then when I was at the mall the other day, I was walking. I was in, like, an outfit similar to this where it was, like, leggings and a shirt. And I was like, my boobs and my butt are the same size. And I don't know if that means my butt's really small or my boobs are really big. Or I guess both could be true. You're proportionate. Is that proportionate? Yeah. 100%. Are your boobs and butt supposed to be the same size? Well, I mean, that's great. Is it? I feel like my boobs and my butt are both just, like, I don't even know. I don't even know what's bigger for me. Maybe my butt? Probably your butt. Probably my butt. Probably your butt, yeah. Really? Yeah, let's say your butt. You just moved my whole day. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, though. I still want, I want to talk more about high school. Yeah. Because I feel like I get a lot of, like, I get a lot of DMs from girls. I think I told you that yesterday, like, bullying and stuff. Oh, yeah. And just kind of, like, how you dealt with it. Or did you deal with it? I mean, I would say I didn't deal with it great because I just didn't do anything. Mm. But, I mean, by senior year, it wasn't even a big deal because I, at that point, had, like, I don't know how many subscribers. I, I, had, I had subscribers for my YouTube channel. Yeah. All of them by senior year were just like, oh my gosh, can you give me a shout out? And I was like, So they no. bullied you and then had the audacity. Dacid- yeah. da- da- audacity? Audacity. <laughs> I can speak. I'm just a bit tired. Audacity asked you for a fucking shout out. Yeah. High school. That's what high school is. You know? Everyone's just kind of like, what I learned after high school, like the big thing about high school, which mm. is, you always don't learn about the things that would have been helpful to know until, like, way after. Until you look at it back, yeah. But I would say, is that the whole entire bullying thing, I feel like it was about to go so deep. Okay, wait. Everyone uses everyone as a mirror to reflect themselves. So, mm-hmm. like, if you're confident, you're not going to look at someone else that, whether they have the looks that you like or don't have the looks that you like, if you're confident, you're not going to be like, oh my gosh gross because yeah. you just don't think like that like confident people yeah. don't care yeah. you know but if you're insecure like if I when I was in high school not high school I don't know exactly when I decided to, I, I think there was like a period of time where I was like I want to be a Disney actress then yeah. I looked at all the Disney I actresses and I was like they have little tiny slopey noses and yeah. I don't oh, you have a beautiful nose, but it's a cute nose but at the time I was like it's not that mm. so I would look at everyone else's nose and be like 
like, if they had a really nice nose, I'd be like, but look at the rest, like, look at this other thing on their yeah. face. Like, yeah. try to find flaws in them, because yeah. I was actually just jealous of their noses. Yeah. And then once I realized I was doing that, it took, like, maybe a week for me to realize I was doing that. Then yeah. I was like, Rachel, stop. Yeah. Like, let's, instead, whenever we feel the need to insult somebody because mm-hmm. we're jealous of that, let's compliment them. So then I'll just go around and, like, compliment everyone's yeah. noses. Like, if I like your nose, I won't be like, oh, but, but she put, <laughs> She's like, a, yeah, a beautiful like, nose that I just hate. Yeah. That's good, that's good, though. A week. I feel like most girls and guys, it takes a lot longer than weeks. Most people still do that... 25, 26, 30, projecting is such a thing. It happens a lot, especially on Instagram, you know? It's like, mm. hey, you're so quick to judge someone so quickly without knowing them. Yeah. Like, I think it's as you just don't, you just don't care. Like, it just doesn't matter yeah. what other people look like. You just, like, no, at some point you're like, yeah, if no. they're like a bitch, <clears throat> okay, fine. I won't That's like different. you. Yeah, being rude is such a different thing. Someone can be, like, the prettiest person in the room, but as soon as they're mean, it just makes them so ugly. I feel yeah. Like it just makes them, ugh, no, no, no. Yeah, I just don't really comprehend the need to be mean. Yeah. Like, if you're making someone say worse, why? Yeah. What is the point? No, I don't like that either. I really don't. That's, I just, like, for me, looking back, and I didn't have a good high school experience either. Really? No. Really? I had a lot of rumors spread about me. About what? Just, I don't even know. Just, like, mean, really mean things that were, weren't true. I mean, it's happened st- I think that still yeah, happens. I had well. rumors spread about me too, and actually. it just was so far fetched. And yeah. I'm like, what's like, what just so far from the truth of who I am, and yeah. just things like that. And I didn't like it. And I think for me, it was just like, if I could like tell myself back than being like a little girl. Like, okay, so I I started therapy not even a year ago. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting! Yeah, how's I your love mental it. health? Uh, way better. Oh, Great. I, love I, that. I think getting a therapist is the best thing. I think it should be covered. Mental health should be covered 100. percent Anyway, mm-hmm. side note. But anyway, so she told me she's like Carly. Picture yourself as, like, a little girl and, like, you hugging yourself and, like, what you've put yourself through. Mm. And I started crying. Mm. And I don't cry, like, ever. And I started crying and I was like, um, what I put this girl through and, like, how much when I was younger I believed what people said about me, it's so hard to get out of your brain. Because mm. when you have everyone coming at you, it's like you start to believe it. And I think the best thing to do is, like, she tells me, like, my, my therapist tells me, like, daily affirmations. Yeah. So I would say to most young girls, like, the best thing to do is, like, remind yourself if you can and boys every single day, like, things you do like about yourself. Yeah. Or like even like the five minute journal. Do you yeah. know what that is? I, I want to get I just that. got one. You did. I, I never started it, but I just got it. Yeah, see, I feel like that's great. Like, yeah. Th- things like that, tools to remind you like what you do love about yourself. Because like l- walking on this planet alone, like you're just so lucky to be able to like walk on this planet, breathe, live a life. Like it's just, it's yeah. freaking crazy. Something that's interesting. So I did, like I went to a hypnotherapist just for funsies. I was like. When did you do this? Why not? Like a month ago, maybe. Oh my God. Lo- um, what is, can you explain what that is a little bit? It's really confusing. So it's basically, if you know how to meditate. Don't know. Don't know. Right? Yeah, me neither. No, I, don't I don't know how to meditate at all. But basically like put you in a meditative state. So like you, basically a meditative, oh shit, sorry. Basically a meditative <laughs> state is like. You know when you're, like, falling asleep and you're, like, half asleep? Like, let's say you're scrolling through your phone, right? And then yep. when you're falling asleep and then your phone starts slowly like, kind of falling. Yeah, you're going into a day, that, like, doze. That's the meditative state. So they wow. put you under that. It's not like anything where I'm like, oh, my God, I can't move. No, oh, you're controlling me. Like, it's yeah. literally, she just makes me go half asleep. And then, like, just talks to your subconscious directly. Wow. So it's like, if I was saying, if there was one thing that, I don't know, someone said that bothered me, like, she was kind of just like, oh, now picture you're on a beach and you yeah. write whatever it is you want to get rid of. You were writing? Not physically, but in my head, I was on a beach you with pictures. a stick writing blank. Like it was a person's name, right? Yeah, yeah. Blank's name. And then just watch the, the water just take it away so that that yeah, yeah. just removes them through your brain. And I was like, damn, like, that kind of worked. Like I felt better. I didn't even think about that person for like a week when normally it'd be like they'd be in my yeah. head 24 7. I'm like, piece of shit. Like, ah. That's insane. Yeah. You were literally out of it. Yeah. So she, did she take you back to, like, in high school and stuff like that? No, it's not like that. It's oh. it's kind of just, like, it's she doesn't even take you back to anything. She just makes you kind of do these little symbolic things yeah. that you do while you're in talking directly to your subconscious. That's uh, that's amazing. I want to do that. I, you know, was I'm it really a bit scary, though? To. Would you do it again? I, you know what it was? Like, after, like, one of them, I w- didn't feel like I needed to do more. Really? Yeah. Do you go to therapy? Yeah, I go to therapy every week. That's good. I love my therapist. You love it? But something interesting that I did learn from the hypnotherapist when mm-hmm. I was going, I mean, maybe I'll go back. I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty mentally, like, fa- like there's nothing that I need to directly remove yeah. from my subconscious. Like, I'm pretty good at, like, talking to my inner child and stuff. That's good. But 
the thing that the hypnotherapist told me, which is what kind of what goes in line with the affirmations, yeah. is that it takes 45 days to develop, or was it 44? 44 days to develop a new neurological pathway in your brain. What does that mean? Basically, if you're telling yourself, like if you've told yourself, like if you're insecure and you're like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm ugly. Mm-hmm. That's because you've heard that externally or internally in your head for 44 days. Oh so God. now that's, a, th- that's just the automatic assumption. That's your thought process. That's just your thoughts. Wow. That's like na- the natural thought. That's the neurological pathway in your brain. But if you go, like, let's say you were like, oh my gosh, I want to, I want to feel, I don't know, beautiful Mm -hmm. or whatever it is that you want. You know, you just say out loud like four times a day or whatever, like, I am so beautiful. I am so beautiful. And if you do that for 44 days, that's just the automatic, like, default of what your brain. Yeah. No, just, that's just now the only thing your brain believes. That's amazing. That's why I feel like abusive relationships are like. Yeah. So slow and burning because they yeah. do that for 44 days, like, over and over. Like, they yeah. really just knock that shit into your head. Isn't it said, like, after three months you finally see who a person is? Have you seen that? My therapist told me. She's like, don't yeah. move in with anybody for at least, like, six months because it takes six months for someone to... Yeah. People that are, like, abusive, for example, can only hide their true selves for six months. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, you can't. Yeah. But then after that, you're, like, already in. You're, like, uh, You're deep. And then that's like, when it's hard to get out, too. Once yeah. you're in love, it's, like... And sometimes you don't even know when you are in, like, a mentally abusive relationship. No one knows. You don't realize until after. I've done that. I've literally... Like, I've had a few like that. Oh, girl, same. Like, even yeah. friendships. There are mentally abusive of friendships. There are, like, little things. Like, I've had, like... Uh, I'm not going to say who. I actually don't even know if they know who. But whatever. There was, like, a guy that one time was, like... You should get rid of your stretch marks because it's not fair that I have to look at them. And Excuse I was like, me? you have stretch marks too. And he was like, yeah, but I don't have to look at them. And I was like, wow, he said that to you. Yeah, but hear me out. That like was what made me confident because I know that sounds weird. So it was a guy that I had. Th- I'm not talking about who they are. You can't no, take I'm that not. from a former fat dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like what? It was weird. That's crazy. It was a weird thing to hear. But I was like 18 or 19 or yeah. whatever. But I didn't it, I was definitely the type of person that like focused on what other people thought about me. Yeah. So the thing is, the thing the reason why I feel like that one just big slam like made me all at once confident was because he was like, You should get rid of stretch marks. And you were like, F you. No, I, I wasn't even that I wish I was, but I was just like, Okay, well, I've tried to get rid of my stretch marks since sixth grade. I have been doing uh, all that crazy shit to get rid of stretch marks, like the derma roller, the yeah. whatever. They're not going away. And yeah. I'm not about to spend money on, like, a laser thing to no. get my... They're cool. They're little, like, lightning marks on my skin. Like, I have no issue with them. Yeah. But I was at the point where yeah. I had no issue with them. So when he said that, I was like, but I know I can't get rid of them. And he was like, yeah, you can. Like, Kim Kardashian got rid of hers. And I was oh like... Oh, my God. Okay, well, I know that yeah. I can't get rid of them. And I've tried. So yeah. then I was like, why would I let him determine how I feel about my stretch marks when he doesn't know how much I've tried to yeah. get rid of them? Like, he doesn't know the journey it took for me to realize you can't get rid of <laughs> stretch marks. Yeah. So I, at that moment, was like, so why, why do I care what he thinks about my stretch marks? But I then I was shouldn't. like, why do I care what anyone thinks about me at all? At all. And yeah. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Why do I care about what anyone thinks about me at all when they yeah. don't know anything about the journey it took for me to get here? hundred percent. And also, that's, part, that's you. That's part of your body. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't get, like, the issue with stretch. Like, I mean, I think yeah. he, again. I don't get he, the issue with stretch. I don't even know if I, I don't even rec- I don't even realize that. I, like, I wouldn't even have, notice it on someone. Not once have I ever looked yeah. and been like, <laughs> That's a stretch mark. I mean, oh, that's a stretch mark. I notice it on thick girls. I go, damn, this girl's thick. I yeah, like that. You like yeah, it. I yeah. feel like that's like a hot thing. Yeah. I feel like I want stretch marks so it makes my ass look huge. You stretch know? marks just make it just makes it obvious that you grew. Yeah, which like, is when you were supposed to stay the same size your whole life. No. That's <laughs> like, be, I also have though, like on my belly button, like there's a little dot, like a what are a they freckle? called? A freckle. I have a freckle that used to be right next to my belly button, but yeah. now it's way down here, and I'm like, oh my god, I grew. That's you grew. Crazy. Oh my god, that's how you can tuck it move down. Yeah, and I have a scar here because I like tried to grab cookies too early or something like that, <laughs> and the scar was right here because when I was From grabbing the cookie, and now it's over here. It's moving around. It's just crazy. But how, it's like, bodies, bodies are beautiful. I think I cannot believe that. It's crazy when you like let someone speak to you so poorly for so long. You you just like allow it and you take it and you take it and you take yeah. it because you like are so in your head that you want to be with them. Yeah. You convince yourself, like, it's okay. It's, like, hard to get out of that well, mindset. It's, it's mindset. also tricky, though, because you think about it, like, my parents, at least, they were like, don't ever let a boy hit you. Don't let a boy hit you. Don't yeah. let a boy hit you. So I said, that's what abuse is. Yeah. You didn't think about... I didn't know. Calling someone ugly. I didn't think about yeah. anything that was yeah. emotional. I didn't know that you were not supposed to be, like, 
banned from hanging out with people. Like, I didn't know you were supposed to... Your ex banned you from hanging out with people? I'm not going to say anyone specific. No, you don't have to. I've had things, just for the record, everyone, I've had things with guys that haven't been public. So you don't know... Yeah, who I I'm mean, talking so about. about. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so um, don't jump to anything. Yeah, don't jump. There's don't always jump. a million people behind the scenes. Yeah, I've had many things with many people yeah. that weren't just my two exes. Got it. But um, yeah, I've been in a lot of like flings or whatever, seeing someone. Yeah, but they don't. They, you never know. Until of course not. That there are things that are just it takes a lot to go public with someone. Not even that. It's just like, you don't even know. I mean, for one, yeah, I'll literally never go public with anyone again. I had to fake date my first boyfriend, Isaac, for like six months. Why? Because I didn't want to disappoint everyone. I've gotten I know comments. You uh, yeah. It's weird. Like, I've gotten comments that were like, yeah. just, you know how there's the random people that are like, I stopped watching you after you and Isaac broke, broke up. up. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I, I uploaded my first Disney princess video. Yeah. After we broke up. Yeah. You didn't stop watching me when well, I mean, it broke up. Another thing is, and I can relate to that, it's like everyone ships you so hard. Yeah. And then you go to the relationship and it looks like so quickly you've mentally checked out and you're like, this has a long time been coming. But to then say it to the world is a lot different. Yeah. To say it to your partner and in bed and you know things have ended, but then to take it public, it's like you could have ended months ago and people don't know. So this ring is one of those crystal rings. Oh my god, break. it just broke! When there's like Wait. negative energy. Okay, this is wild because yesterday we were literally doing her YouTube and she was showing me this ring, this crystal ring, and she's like, it's supposed to break if there's negative energy. And she was talking about her ex and it just broke. So we're not going to talk about my ex. That's wild. That is <laughs> That's crazy. crazy. I didn't have any, I only had one break when I was cleaning the counter I swear once. I wasn't being a hater. No. I swear <laughs> to God. No, that I mean, is, that's, I'm not. that's weird. That, was that is weird. really weird. But it's, it's a sign, though. He was he was the worst. So. He wasn't for me, you know? No. I think we just met at a at a young age and got too, into too serious in yeah. a relationship at a young age. Yeah. And I wouldn't, you know? It's crazy that he would tell you not to hang out with people, though. I've had... I've never had that. I've always had people tell me not to hang out with people. And you listen? Um, it's just... You don't... Like, what are you going to do? Like, whenever you hang out with them, you have to deal with, like, a face? Like, a... Ugh. Yeah. Like, I don't want to deal with, like... Snarky, that's crazy. I can't that believe is this really, ring just that's rang. really it's weird. It's called like a hematite or something ring. I've never seen it. That was the first one I saw it was through you. Damn, that's crazy. That's, <laughs> that's actually, it's a bit freaky. It is oh, a bit yeah. freaky. Did that just break all your resentments? Do you just feel nothing now? Like, yeah, do you feel like you came to peace? Um, I think I came to peace years ago. Okay, that's good. Yeah, then. I have no, <laughs> the thing is the way I am with my exes, it's like, I wish them the best. But away, stay away, away from, from, me. from me. That's how yes. I am. I wish you the best. Have the most fun, but yes. don't fucking come near me. Yeah. Just don't. <laughs> exactly. Like, I want them to have the absolute best lives ever. Of course. Just don't come back into mine. Just it's don't like, come back into it's mine. It's like, we can be friendly, yeah. not friends. Not friends. Friendly. Yeah. yeah, no. Well, that's yeah. the thing. Do, I, I don't know if you're like this. I don't get into relationships with people that I'm friends with first. I just get into relationships. Oh, see, I'm so weird like that. I have stayed friends with a lot of my exes. That's I'm, that's like a lot. wild. Uh, actually, uh, one of my best friends to this day is my ex-boyfriend from high school. That's crazy. But he showed me how a man was supposed to treat me. So he was the one boy in my life that I had that really was like, he showed me how a man should treat me. So I think that's another reason why it's so good for me to have him in my life. Because if I am dating someone, he'll be like, this guy's treating you like shit. Or you're that's being too nice. hard on him. I like that. So it's good to have him as just like kind of someone to like lean on and give me some advice. Yeah, no? yeah, that makes sense. So once you're done with the guy, you think you like you cut off communication. Well, here's the thing, the e, uh, yes, <laughs> but also I think a lot of the times it doesn't like everything ends civilly. Yeah, but mm -hmm. like for one, like my the ex that I dated most recently, mm -hmm. um, which I don't like, know who does. By the way. You don't need to. Yeah, no. He's fine. But um, he's fine. He, like, he got into another relationship pretty quickly, and out of respect for his girlfriend, I just wouldn't talk to him. I think yeah, it's rude course. to talk that to people. Rude. There's you know? boundaries. There's boundaries for sure, 100%. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure she respects that. I would. Yeah. I mean, there was, I mean, definitely while I was dating him before, he kept talking to his ex, not in a sexual way or anything like that. They so, just were friends. And I was like... <sighs> So he went back to the ex he was talking to? No, he didn't. They broke up for reasons. They just were, they were like, yeah. we don't see ourselves getting married. So I don't see there was an issue with that. But it was more like he would talk to her a lot. Mm -hmm. And it got to the point where I ended up just telling him, like, listen, like, it's not, I have no issue of you talking to your ex. I just want to let you know, like, I like you less every time you do that. Yeah, of course. And it's getting to the point where you're going to keep doing it, and then I'm going to have to just yeah. you mentally check out. And yeah. that's another thing, too. I think it's important for 
boys and girls to realize, like, if, even if your partner stays with you, it's not like they're always going to stay with you. Yeah. And that's one thing I realized, too, and I've been not the best person in relationships, and I've realized that, like, my actions will lead someone to leave. Yeah. You know? It's also... I also believe very strongly that it's, like, people come into your lives for a reason. 100%. And where I am at right now, because I have, like, you know, like, parents that are like, when are you going to get married? I'm like, yeah. first of all, never, but no. You never I mean, get I, married? I probably will. Okay. I'll probably get married when I'm, like, 30, maybe, 31. Yeah, you don't even have to time on Whenever you want. I just want to have, like, four kids, so I'm like... Yeah, you okay, said I that yesterday. Probably, yeah, I should probably meet them at some point. But I'm not ready to meet them yet, because I very much believe, like, you... The people in your life mm. or whatnot, you attract whoever you are at that moment. So let's say That's I'm true. like, let's say there's 20 steps to self-love journeys, right? Yeah. Like, let's say there's a 20-step journey. I, I know it's more, it's, I, there's, it's forever, but yeah. let's say there is a 20-step journey. It, I'm right now on maybe step two because the fact that I was ever able to be broken, like I thought I was the most confident person ever, but yeah. the fact that another person was able to make me not confident means that my confidence was external. Like it wasn't yeah. as internal as I thought it was. Yeah. So let's say I'm on step two of my self-love journey and I meet a guy right now and he's also on step two, but I keep going on to step 20. I don't genuinely believe that everyone even wants to go on a self-love journey. I think a lot of people are happy with being stagnant. So if yeah. I get to step 20 of my self-love journey... And I meet a guy who is completely happy being stagnant at step two. I won't be okay with that. Versus if I get up to step 15 of my no. self-love journey. And then I go on to step 20 of my self-love journey. And the guy is pretty happy being stagnant at step 15 of the self-love journey. Like, mm -hmm. I'm okay with being stagnant. Like, them being yeah. at 15 and me being at but 20. But you're not going to accept that. But I won't accept someone being at two yeah. and me being at 20. You know? No, that's a good way to put it. Does and honestly, sense? one thing that I love you to said is like, external like getting love externally and like internally like that's it's really hard it's really hard to like differentiate them because you put all of your happiness into one person mm. it can just bite you in the fucking ass and I've done that so many times like mm. there's like everyone knows online oh she's dating this person she's dating this person and yeah it is easy to look outside for happiness rather than like doing things that make yourself happy 100% it's easy it's very easy <laughs> I need to get Can out. you share some of your self-help uh, journey tips? Like yeah. what, what are some of the practices that have uh, helped you with your self-love? Yeah. Um, let me think. For one, the thing that I'm trying really hard to work on is like having a routine, like mm -hmm. a, a morning routine, like mm -hmm. that actually is like doing things before. Also, I mean... I have different self-love needs than other people would, of course. Per se. Hey, ladies, are you tired of not getting dicked down properly and your man just not performing? And you're just sitting there and you're upset and you're like, what the heck am I going to do? This is just not happening. And then he leaves and then you can finally reach for your vibrator. You know, it's going to be way better. And then he leaves and then you reach for your vibrator and it's just not even there. Well, guess what? We have a solution for you. Adam and Eve has everything you need to spice up your sex life. As the nation's largest marketer of adult products, they literally have hundreds of items to keep you and your partner beyond set. Fund. Which is great for me because I got the vibrator, which is absolutely amazing because contrary to the belief, I actually have not had sex with anyone since I've been in LA. So it's great for me. <laughs> I lied. It was been one person. Go to adamandeve.com and enter code CARLY, C-A-R-L-Y, at checkout to get 50% off almost any one item and free shipping. Most items on the site are already 50% off anyways, but if you are not, code at checkout is CARLY, C-A-R-L-Y. I'm physically very addicted to social media and my phone and oh, numbers so and everything. Really? Yeah. No, not I'm, at all. I've like, <laughs> I base my entire self-worth off of oh. numbers right now. It's the worst. Yeah, that's not So like... Healthy. My self-love, I need to make sure that I don't go on my phone at all until, like, I finish a, my, my actual morning routine. Yeah. It's so, like, I won't get out of, like, I'll get out of bed, but I'm going to try to not go on my phone. Like, that's a big thing for my self-love journey. Of course. Another thing, again, everyone has different needs of self-love, but um, for me... I feel like I'm very disconnected to the, from the version of myself that I used to be and the version of myself that I did like, but I'm very disconnected with that version. So I'm trying right now to like... Find her. Find her, but also accept that I'm not her and I'm not supposed to be her. I've, yeah. I'm her with all the experiences that You're I've evolving. had. You're evolving. You're going to keep growing as yeah. a person. But I want to still do the things that I used to like doing Which is when like I was her. Like, I like getting up and doing my makeup. I like being in nature and, like, I don't know, like, catching frogs and shit. Like, yeah. I don't know. Just Sometimes things that... it's hard to get out of bed. I find that, too. Yeah. Sometimes it is really hard. Sometimes I just, like, lay in bed and I'm just, like, I don't feel like talking to anyone. Mm. <laughs> I just want to stay in bed and not do anything. But I've realized now more, too, 
I'm becoming a little bit more like that. Where like as soon as I get up, I check my phone, That's and I hard. used to not do that, and it's not healthy. Don't do Even it. Even this morning, I woke up right away, and I'm like looking for texts. I'm looking for Instagram. I'm checking my numbers. I'm checking rude comments online. And I'm like, stop. That's, I'm not normally like that though. Stop. It's There's, gonna take 44 days to start. You're gonna start. <sighs> I, gonna I was start listening to an interview with this guy Andrew Huberman. He's mm-hmm. this very smart guy, and he talks about when you're sleeping, your brain is going through a whole process and when you wake up those like initial moments when you wake up is when you're downloading everything you like learned in your sleep and in your dreams and oh, stuff yeah. like that so when you look at your phone you're disrupting that kind of reboot yeah. process Interesting. i feel yeah. good when i'm not on my phone i lost my phone two weeks ago i don't know if you remember i like didn't have a phone for yeah, yeah, yeah. like a week and it was like the best ever uh, no one could contact me i wasn't looking at instagram comments i wasn't looking at like tiktoks it was just like my my time was like actually just like physical and like human interaction which is like the best thing ever because realistically like social media doesn't matter like but to me it does but to can you i it recommend does. a book to you it's I'm, called it's called love yourself like your life depends on it oh, okay. i want to read that do they have like an audio like i'm i'm incapable of reading there's an audio now. version yeah. okay cool yeah. but there's a there's I, I a like there's a practice that comes read. along with the book like there's a few things that you do there's a certain practices and it's life-changing so i think like those cool. are so good to do for me i'm like a i like like physically writing so, yeah. like, for me, my therapist always gets me to write. That's why I'm always journaling. Because I find, like, journaling helps me. Like, typing, it's like yeah. I'm not getting it into my mm-hmm. brain. Like, no. You should get an iPad with the pencil. There's a physical mm-hmm. thing that you do where you write down. Uh, there's a practice. It's like you write down, like, I forgive myself for this. I forgive myself for oh, this. Yeah, I forgive I myself. That. For, yeah. like, in, as thorough as you could possibly be. Yeah. And, like, I wrote down, like, two, like 100 things. Even, like, I forgive myself for holding on to this resentment. Yeah. I forgive. And then you have to, like, you read it and you over and over until you actually physically feel actually physically feel a shift and oh i read God. it and i cried like a little bitch it's so good and to cry. then <laughs> i destroyed it yeah you destroyed it yeah see yeah. i keep all my notes no now you have to destroy it i well, did something a little crazy practice. the other day though okay I was lazy i know i said i did something a little crazy what i did write some things mm-hmm. down and then i did like this is gonna sound so crazy should i say it yeah. i wrote I mean, some things and then i read something online and it was like I don't even know. Re, like, write what you want to come true, and then they sleep on it. So I literally wrote, like, things that I've been manifesting and slept on it. That's what they do in Thinking so Grow weird. Rich. You write a mm. list on, like, exactly what you want, how many dollars, by the time, so what you're going to give yeah. for it. And you put that on your bed. You read it before you go to sleep, and you exactly. read it when you wake up, and it's subconscious programming, and you're reaffirming these, like, yeah. deep subconscious I believe groups. in manifesting. I really believe, for me... I think I manifested my whole life up until this point. Everyone has. Like, but it's no, also... No, but, like, really. No, same. Like, writing down, like, even the show, like, I wrote that. Really? Well, not te- technically, like, that name of that show, but I did write, like, being on a show, and I was on the show within the year. You know, one of the craziest thing for me was I, you know that movie, The Secret? No. There's a movie that talks about manifesting. I recommend everyone listening to this just to watch, watch it. it. It might not be there for you. It might not be. And if it looks stupid to you while you're watching it, you're just probably not ready for it. And yeah. it's, that's fine. It doesn't matter. But I watched it, and I made the goal. It was when I had, like, 300,000 subscribers at the time and that was after five years of being on YouTube so I made a goal I want to hit a million subscribers by like I think it was like October 4th or something like that I don't I might be incorrect about the date that doesn't really matter so I was like I want to hit a million subscribers by October 4th it was like July so I was like should I say I want to hit a million subscribers by October 4th and it was like July so I was like you know whatever I'm gonna I'm gonna manifest this so I was telling all my friends and stuff I was like I'm gonna hit a million subscribers and uh, July, August, September, like October. Time. Three months. I was yeah. like, I'm going to hit a million subscribers in three months. And everyone's like, yeah, like, good luck. Yeah, okay. They didn't you believe you. And of course no one believed me. It was yeah. something that at that time was not done before. So then I, like, was grinding, really like, doing my thing. I posted, like, back to school, expectations versus reality, whatever, cute videos. And I hit a million subscribers on that day. Oh and my I was God, like, that's insane. Okay, I wonder if it'll work with five million subscribers. So on the exact same day, a year later, I hit five million subscribers. Oh and my I was God. like, if it worked with five, I wonder if it'll work with 10. So I was like, okay, I'm going to hit 10 million subscribers in a year from now on this day. And every single time, if you like look back at my Instagram of when I posted, like, thank you for a million, year. thank you for five million, it would be on the exact that's same time. So wow, that's so weird. That is really weird. Did, did YouTube notice that when you gave, got your plaques and stuff? No, nah, I mean, that's, it's just so meta. I don't That's think crazy, so. though. Yeah. A year apart every single time. That's really weird. Isn't that crazy? That's, like, really to the T. Like, I love man To the T. To the time. Really to the T. What are you at now? I already know. I'm at 14 about. million. But I that's also, insane. I stopped, uh, I, like, mm, how do I put this? You took a break. 
not on purpose. Like the f so the first guy that I dated showed me that. And then another guy that I dated after the first guy hated the guy so much that he wanted to make sure I didn't have anything good from the relationship. So they actively made sure I stopped being like believing in manifesting by like talking shit on the movie. Or if I ever talked about manifesting, they'd be like, yeah, yeah OK, that's like or they'd be like, that guy's in jail now, blah, blah, blah. Like just like making sure yeah. that I actively don't believe in it because they just hated my ex so much. And I'm like, OK, well, it worked. So I, you could see like, I mean, you can't necessarily see, but um, it's just a lot of things like kind of went like downhill, downhill once yeah. once I w had someone in my life that was trying to actively. Bring it down. Yeah, if that makes sense. Like even of if course. manifesting didn't work, why would you want me to think negatively? Like no, even if I was just assuming positive stuff, like what's the issue? Well, then that person just doesn't want the best for you at all and not right for you. Yeah, they're was not in my life. Was your first relationship public? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What were you going to ask, Gabby? I was saying, like, even if you don't believe in, like, the hippy-dippy universe spiritually as aspects of manifesting, there is something, there is still something very real on the most, uh, no, what's the word I'm looking for? There's something very real even just when it comes to subconscious programming, yeah. right? Yeah, 100%. And, and your subconscious is a very powerful force, and what you feed it, it kind of just spits out. And yeah. so that is, manifesting is real even on the most practical level. Yeah, well, and yeah. also when you're in that deep sadness too, like when I'm in those like dark days, it's so hard to come out of. And when I tell myself I'm sad, the more I just stay sad. Like yeah. getting myself yeah. out of that is the worst. It's hard. I mean, the other thing though, I feel like with the, even even if you don't believe in manifesting, right? Like, let's say it is hippy-dippy stuff and you just don't care about that. Technically speaking, if you're telling yourself, like, let's say, I don't know, what's a, what's a random goal? What's a fun goal that I could just use for an example? Well, you're also not going to hit a goal if you don't actually make it a goal and plan yeah, on and it. Yeah. Work on it. Like, that's, work just on, a, yeah. That, yeah. that's just matter. That's just a fact. Yeah. But let's say you were, like, trying to, I, I don't know, let's say you wanted to make a million dollars. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Technically speaking, if you're manifesting that and... Even if it was not even with manifesting, if you decide you want to make a million dollars, your brain's going to start... Like, you know when you want a car that's specific and you start seeing that car everywhere? Yeah, you do. You obsess over it. Yeah. Your brain yeah. subconsciously obsesses over it. Yeah. But you just see it. Like, yeah. you suddenly see it. Like And people that want to see ghosts, like, that see ghosts. They see ghosts everywhere. So yeah. it's like, if you wanted to make... I mean, this is a very bad example. I'm not talking about a million... I don't think... I'm not talking about specifically how to make a million dollars. This is just a random example I can think of. But if you were, like, trying to make a million dollars, you're going to suddenly start seeing opportunities everywhere because that's just what you're looking for. Yep. So even just in senses of that, like, I don't see the harm in it, you know? No, 100%. I, look, I manifest all the time. I think it's great. I think writing is great. I think any outlet, anything that you can be, and, like, being creative, like, in your own creative way well, like as well, it's just like writing if that helps for you reading like mm. reading i always feel good when i read i just don't do it enough i honestly don't you ever read gratitude list no i game, uh, game changer some no, actually no it's in the five oh. minute journal yes yeah, i need to get that that's yeah. what we're talking about yeah. i need tim to get ferris that. who tim ferris mm -mm. i think he's, he's the guy who came up with it i think the gratitude oh. journal what's that the five minute no the five minute journal five that's what journal. i meant that's what i meant to say yeah yeah, yeah. oh dope yeah, I've heard good things. I think the whole thing, what was there? There was like some quote about Man Like, uh, if you have an attitude of gratitude. <laughs> attitude of gratitude. <laughs> Thank God. It's good to be, it's good to be also like thank, for, like thank the world for what you do have because like. You'll many, get more of it. You'll get more of it. And the more you put out like good energy, I feel like the more you get back. But also 100%. if you think about it though, like let's say, okay, let's say we're friends. Yes. So mm -hmm. let's say I, it, you know, you did Was something. Was that a question that you asked me? <laughs> We're friends? No, yes. I'm trying to figure out for the statement, like how to word it. You know, this would be better for in terms of like a relationship. Okay, let's say you're my boyfriend, right? Okay, we'll date. Okay, let's say we're <laughs> dating. And there was something that you were doing that I didn't like. But there were some things that you were doing that I did like. But you're just doing so much of the things I didn't like. If I started going, oh my gosh, I love when you do yeah. this one thing that I like doing. You're going to want to do more of the thing yep. that I love because I'm being grateful for yep. it. So it's like... No, just being true. grateful, you start seeing the things, more things to be grateful for. No, it's true. The more, and it's like, like the psych, psycho, like the psychological, the more you like tell someone like, oh my God, it's so true. I love when you do this. I love when you're like this. Like mm. the more someone's going to want to do it. The, I love how loyal you are to me. Yeah. So, I don't know if that's worked for me. Listen, but. you can't <laughs> loyalty, you can't, you can't make someone loyal. But like, no, I mean, can't. I literally. You can um, help pray. The, there's something funny with the gratitude thing. I was dating a guy once 
that always was like, you don't appreciate me. You don't appreciate me. You don't appreciate anything I'm doing. I'm like, okay, well, bitch, if you want to feel unappreciated, like, I can make you feel I unappreciated. Can make you like, feel stop. Unappreciated. But I obviously wasn't petty. I wasn't like that. So what I did was I wrote in a, in a little tiny notebook for six months every single day something that I appreciated about him today, like, what I'm grateful for today. Like, oh, oh he nice. opened the door for me. He complimented me. He did this. Yeah. For six months. So then for our, like, year and ever, for one of the times that, w- as a gift, w- randomly, I did around the, I don't want them to know it's my, okay. As a gift for him, after writing in this little journal for six months, I gave it to him, mm-hmm. and he was like, oh, that's cute. And then the next day, he was like, you don't appreciate me. I was like, <clears throat> sir. Mm. He said that again? Yeah. So people that want to feel unappreciated people, are just going to feel it. People that feel bad for themselves are always going to feel bad for themselves. It sucks. I, I, hate, I hate that. It's, I hate that, it's too. It's always, I always really want to help people that are always, like, you do. very, you everything's not I mean, working. you can, but, like, you can't. I to, can't. A, to a point. To a you point. Can, you, can, you can show them, you can be there for them, you but can't, eventually yeah. you can. What's that say? You can lead a horse to water, but exactly. you can't lead a horse Yeah. Drink. Which is such a funny thing. It anyways. is a funny thing. It is a funny thing. But it's also scary because I feel like people, like, I would consider myself, or I'd like to consider myself a pretty positive person. You're very positive. I think you are, at least. Oh, that's so great to hear. So yeah. I like to think that. It's always nice to hear that it's actually a thing. But I like to think that. But if I'm with someone that's really negative and I'm trying to make them positive, like, it's a lot easier to make a positive person negative than a negative person it's positive. It's draining. And that's the thing, too. It's so hard to, and even in relationships and even in friendships, like, it's so hard to know those boundaries. And I feel like that's another thing, too, is, like, knowing when it's, like, okay to end a friendship and okay, like, yeah. to end a relationship. I saw a TikTok about this, uh, a similar thing that was, like, oh, my gosh, what did it say? It was, like... If you lose, the people that you lose during your healing process were only meant to be with the unhealed version of you. 100%. I completely agree with that. Mm-hmm. And I love that saying. It's so true. It's 100% so mm-hmm. true. No, yeah. I love that. It's crazy. It's you crazy. Know. But I guess, do you ever, though, uh, it's kind of more unrelated to the thing, but do you ever sure. feel like, because I feel like you're pretty newly in the public eye, yeah? Very new. Very new. Do you ever feel like when you're at an event or something? Oh like that, yeah, this is yes. You're like I'm not supposed to be here. Yeah, I get in my head all the time. I was texting Abby last night and I was like, did I was I? I think I said this to you, like I want to go home and just yeah. I was like, I don't think I'm ready to do this. I want to move back home and be at a nine to five. Aww. Move to a nine to five. But yeah, you were like that. It's I had scary. through a podcast launch dinner and Rachel came and like not that this matters, but like she was definitely the most has the most followers <laughs> online. And she was, like, the most nervous to be around everyone. Well, I Not that, like, the, the social gain means, like, you should act the coolest at the table or be, like, a dick. But do you know, you know what I mean? No, yeah. I just think I have really bad imposter syndrome. Yes, you said that to me. You've told it's, that to me. It's the weirdest. Like, I'll... I know, technically speaking, if I'm invited to an event or something, You're, I'm supposed to be there because I was invited. I wanted you there. I literally never think I'm supposed... To, it's the... Like, but I you, ended up at... The craziest event that I was at, I ended up at Leonardo DiCaprio's, or Leonardo DiCaprio's. <laughs> DiCaprio's. No. <laughs> I, didn't say, I didn't mean to say that. I ended, up at, um, I ended up at Leonardo DiCaprio's Coachella after party and That's was sick. like walking, like Kylie Jenner walks by, like all the Victoria's Secret models walk by, like I'm yeah. dancing with Rihanna and I was like, I should not be here. And I feel like that was probably the first time but, I felt imposter syndrome. Yeah. And then it started becoming that with everything. And but I'm like... That's what makes you like you, I think. And that's why I feel like people love you is because you're real. Like, you don't need to act like you, like, you're supposed to be there and everything. You're just kind of like, I'm just here hanging out. You but know? I feel like it, it makes me like... The fact that I feel like I'm not supposed to be there, I'm like, okay, so I'm like kind of insecure, I guess. Yeah. Well, so I was going to say, maybe you need to work on a little bit of like your confidence. It's maybe you just weird. get like... Maybe you just, like, you're just shy. I don't know. I don't know either because this I'm completely fine. If I'm, like, chilling with people and there's no one that's famous there, I am literally fine. Like, I'll yeah. hang out with people. I have no issues. I'm not nervous. The second I find out someone's, like, a celebrity, I'm like, oh, God, yeah. I shouldn't be here. I get nervous, too. It's the weirdest but thing. But you've been around longer than me. Like in yeah, the scene. I don't like, know why I'm like You've been in the eye for a while. I have friends that are, like, completely fine just hanging out with celebrities, and I'm just like, I don't... I don't understand how you're able... And the weirdest thing is, too, like, technically speaking, I have a following. Like You have I'm a huge following. You have a... You had a, the biggest following at the table. I should have more of an imposter syndrome. Because yeah. I, I have like, by Abby's far just the like least following. <laughs> I would love to have that. That sounds better than being nervous whenever I go to yeah, something. Yeah, I don't give a shit. No, I'm I wish in between. that. I love that. 
I, yeah, I feel like you should care less. You should just be I more should care less. Like, you shouldn't. And another thing, it goes back to like, who cares what people think about you, anyways? Yeah. Like, who cares if you do have no followers at the table? Like, who gives a shit? And you know what? Like, that, followers does not define who you are as a person. It literally is I, the I, least microscopic Instagram importance. Instagram could shut down tomorrow, and then your Everything integrity could. and who you are as a person is the only thing that's going to matter in the world. So, a hundred percent. But, but also, my brain, once they're famous, nah. <laughs> it also doesn't matter like how successful or rich or like anything is because no. like it only matters if you share with people you know what i mean yeah. like like pe- it only matters if you're nice to people and it only gives you the ability to make other people feel better like yep. i was working at a, uh, a club one time uh when i was younger i was working the door and there's this guy we kicked him out and he's like he's like do you know who the fuck i am oh, i'm God. the fucking prince of fucking Ew. saudi arabia oh my God. he's like do you know how much money i have i'm like well give me some yeah, yeah. He, goes, he goes i have i have fucking millions of dollars i'm okay, like well, great. i'm like cool that means nothing to me yeah unless you give me some yeah of course yeah otherwise you it's with like, what you are, yeah. yeah you alone having yeah. your stuff means literally nothing yeah i could not even process there was one time so my friend's 21st birthday she was trying to get into a club and the line was really long so my friend was like can you please can you please just use the fact that you have followers and I was like that makes me really see, uncomfortable see that makes me nervous I, I cannot I was so uncomfortable yeah. so then she was like just, just just go up so I go up to the who is the people the people that check the, the cards or whatever security I go up to that guy that lets you in and I was like the doorman hi and he was like hi I was like I held up my phone I was like I have, I have 7 million subscribers and he was like okay and I was like <laughs> can we go inside? He was like, "Yeah, wait in the line." And then I go back, and I was like, "I told you that this yeah, wasn't no, for it doesn't me." Really like, so, I told I, you this the, was weird. I get so nervous. I could not do that either. Sounds, Even like the other day, I went when we went on, for my podcast, and we went to the club, and I was like, "Yeah, I was shocked." There was like forty of us, and like, like every f- single person was a celebrity, and we couldn't and, get in. And we couldn't get in, but like I was not going to be the look. I would never go up and say that. Ever. No, that's like not, I'm uh, too embarrassed uh, to be. Like, I have followers. Like, okay, great. Literally, who cares? And, like, yeah. That? What else do you do with anything? I think the, the telling tale, like, you know, when you ask someone, like, oh, what's she like? The thing that you hear the most is, like, oh, she was, like, a bitch, or he, oh, was, yeah. he was a dick. Or, like, the, like that's they were bad, most... just people working at, like, the waiters. That oh, they're my God. I'm like, if, if you you're mean date, to waiters, yeah, you have I to hate you. I waited. I was a waitress for yeah. for ye- five years. I wanted to be a waitress, but my dad was like, focus on school. And yeah. I was like, but dad, I want to work at Ruby <laughs> Tuesdays and go on the roller skates. I want to work at Hooters. But no, if you're me, I think like that's the biggest thing is if you're mean to people or not. And also making someone feel good about themselves. Like, yeah. People don't have the time of the day. People care, focus so much on themselves. So if you like are in a line and you take two seconds to tell someone, like, you look fucking bomb, yeah. that's more than an average person will do. Like, honestly. Most people are so in their own head, they just don't even care to, like, look at someone I else. I know. It's, the, it's, it's very interesting to watch people that are very, like, just only... About themselves. Yeah. Because I can't comprehend... No, not every, I'll Everything I do, I'm like... Hmm... Like, I, okay, I went to the mall yesterday. I totally got scammed. Totally. 100% was scammed. scammed. I didn't know this was a thing. But this, like, lady and a kid came up to me, and they're like... Hey, we need, um, can we, can we have something? I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, I only have credit cards. I was like, I don't have money with me. I'm so sorry. They're like, no, we don't want money. We want food. And I was like, oh my gosh, you don't have food. Yes, yes, I will absolutely get you food. So we go to the food court and, um, I didn't notice, they were wearing like a lot of jewelry. They had already like two boxes of food in their hand, but I was like, but they asked for food. Like, they yeah, food. Say, no, I would yeah. so I like, they asked for the food and they start taking the food but they, like, get, like, a huge container and take every single piece of food they have and every single piece of meat. Like, they take everything. And I ended up spending, like, $80 on their food. And I was, like, I mean, I felt good after. I was, like, oh, I helped feed someone. But my friend was, like, you were just scammed. And I was, like, are you sure? They're, like, yeah. <laughs> are you sure? They're, like, if, it, if they actually needed food, they wouldn't have taken everything. And I was, like, yeah, I guess it would be kind of not very nice if I... Maybe, like, if the situation was that $80 is, is a lot of money for yeah. me and I didn't realize I was going to spend that, um, then that I feel like that would be messed up. I still felt good after. I was like, ah. I, I love know. doing things with people. Yeah. But I hate getting used. That's, like, the worst feeling ever. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what getting it was. used is the worst. My roommate always says to me, he's like, Carly, like. Uh, yeah, you are you seem like a very generous person. I'm very generous, but I, I get used for sure. I get used. I get used I a lot. I hate it. Because my dad was, like, growing up, my dad would be, like, the one to pay for not even just paid, just like the most generous person in the yeah. room. So I grew up watching that. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's just like, that's just how I was raised. Like, yeah. I always will pull out my card or help someone out or if there's like a homeless person. I feel like that's like the right thing. I want to do, maybe, well, now that I know you, I help homeless people too. I want to do this thing yeah. where I go to the store 
and I make a bunch of bags for homeless people. So Let's that, do it. You know, I'll like, do it with you. You know when you're driving and there's like homeless people asking for yeah. money? I want to like, give them like a whole bag. Like here's a bunch of food. Yeah. Here's this. Like all these things that don't need a fridge or anything. Here's a blanket. Here's yeah. toothbrush. Here's everything you, you know could what? possibly need. This is so random, but I don't fuck with people that fake being homeless. Oh my gosh! I fucking I can't hate that. that. It is the worst. Have that. you seen that? Yeah. There's, so many videos on, there's so many videos uh, on YouTube. I live YouTube. in LA, so most people are homeless yeah, okay. and pretend to be I'm rich. I'm from Toronto, so it's very different. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's so true. So in Canada, there's... Actually, I remember, but you see them fake... Have you seen this on YouTube? They fake being homeless, yeah. and then they go to their... The lady that their had the Mercedes, and they hop in the... Yeah. They hop in their car, and they drive home with the money. And I'm like, yeah. there's people actually out there that, like... This is why, like, people maybe are skeptical to give money, because there's actually people that are homeless, and you're taking oh, money yeah. when you have... Like, just that, chart. The issue okay. I keep having is whenever I see a car on the side of the road, I'm like, I want to help them, but I also know they're going to murder me. Yeah, you have to be like, careful. Like, I can't, I can't help everyone. You Another know. thing I wanted to do that I wanted to do so bad, um, I wanted to... And my mom uh, advised against it from a... Le- she's a lawyer, so everything's from a legal oh, standpoint. Yeah, mom's a lawyer, dad's a doctor, so they were really okay. happy about me being a Smart. YouTuber. Um, <laughs> they're like, oh, great. You made a great career, though, so you're great. Yeah, no, I mean... Yeah, I'm, you probably um, make more than some doctors as and a YouTuber. Facts. <laughs> it's, a different, it's a different experience. It took a while to convince them that this was, like, an actual thing to yeah. do. But um, I wanted to buy a building... Let a, like furnish it, let a bunch of homeless people live in it, hire all the homeless people to work at my production company so now they have jobs. I like cover their food, I cover their housing so they could have all of that. Mm-hmm. And I was so excited to do that. I was like, oh my gosh, I have this whole plan. I'm going to help. I'm going to help get oh, make it so that homeless people aren't on the streets. Mm-hmm. Like they, they have somewhere to live. Like they could start everything up and not yeah. have all odds against them, you know? And my mom was like, yeah, but if anyone like even a little bit got hurt in the building, you could be sued. You're, you're going to jail. And I was like, oh. She was like, yeah, you have to be careful yeah. because you don't know who you'd be letting in. Like, if yeah. there's someone there that, I don't know, I don't know, if something happens, yeah. someone got hurt, I am the one that's liable. Of course. Uh, it's, like, the same thing with, like, they're not allowed to, like, like they have to throw out the donuts at the end of the night. They can't yeah. get the donuts. Have you seen that? Mm-hmm. I don't know why that, they like, like that. I thought it was a marketing Starbucks thing. Starbucks can't give, like homeless people food in case it was to be rotten they could like sue them oh. so at the end of the day when all the croissants are left oh that's a scam that's, that's they have to throw them out up. like I think that's they're just, lying Starbucks that sounds like lying. Burberry <laughs> burning all their clothes because they don't want people they to have lower it the price, who's, who's, yeah. wait what who does Burberry afterwards oh, they just burn all the clothes because they don't want it to like make burn it burn them they yeah. can't reuse them like, they don't want it to become like something that's easy to get for cheap so they just burn everything when th- everything that's not sold. You'll never see Burberry things on sale. You, you won't see it at, like, uh, Ross Dress for Less or no. anything like that. Yeah. Ross Dress, I fuck, with, I fuck with vintage stores. I love oh. thrifting. I think it's great. I and would it's... love to thrift, too, but no, nothing is the right size for, for my boobs. boobs. For it's your literally <laughs> impossible to find. They don't make my size. No. It's terrible. That's okay. That's a good thing. Do you feel like, you like, are you confident in yourself? Do you feel? Yeah, I'm sure. That's good. Yeah. I feel like I'm not. Oh. I'm working on it, though. I mean, I'm working on, again, the whole imposter syndrome thing. Like, I'm definitely not confident with yeah. that. When it, which, again, is so I don't even know how you work on that. Like, I don't even know what advice I could give you to, like, well, feel. Like, that's something I feel like you just have to No, I've asked, work through I've yourself. asked advice. Like, I've asked, like, all of my friends that are, like, in the public eye. I've mm-hmm. asked them because I just can't comprehend someone not literally, like, being so uncomfortable ever in public with but people. you don't come off as uncomfortable. Oh my god, that's so good to hear. I you am don't. so uncomfortable. I feel like in in general, though, you're a bit more quiet. But that's not a bad thing. I think you're just but more, more that's reserved. I'm not naturally a quiet person. So it's an environment that you're yeah, in. Yeah, it's the environment. Quiet. But I feel like that's a lot of people. I can go quiet, too. I don't think it's strange. It's hard, too, when you're with a lot of people and, like, there's so many big personalities in a room. Like, it's so easy to be, like, outshined. Like, you can sit back yeah. and turtle. Yeah. Also, my therapist was telling me that, like, it's, like, a human experience. Eight, around 80% of people have experienced the feeling of, like, they're not supposed to be somewhere. Like, maybe it goes back to, like, you in high school. Maybe you feel like you're invited to a party or, like... Oh, that's totally what it is, actually. It's definitely you know, something with my inner child, 100%. It's gotta be. Sure. Well, it I mean, like, if you were, like, bullied and stuff, and if you, like, weren't invited to stuff, maybe you feel like now being invited to stuff, yeah. it goes back to when you weren't. Yeah. Uh, maybe. No, no, that makes sense. I'm not sense. trying to diagnose no, much. Listen, I mean, that's not even a diagnostic. That sounds correct. That sounds like, like an actual issue that would be taking place. To be honest, sometimes I kind of feel like that too. I remember like in high school, I threw, it's so funny because people from my high school didn't know exactly what this is about you, but I remember in grade 12, I was throwing a party and like no one wanted to come to my party. Aww. So no one came to my party and I was like, why didn't anyone want to come to my party? And they just like, no one wanted to come and it was fine. But anyways, years, about two years ago, actually the guy that was really mean to me in high school, reached out to me and wrote me, like, a novel about how bad he felt for, like, bullying me. 
Aww. And it was I had been waiting for it for two years. So That's when I got that nice. text, I was with my ex boyfriend. I broke down crying, and I was like, "It's so nice that he wrecked. He's gonna know it's about him." But um, I broke down nice. crying because I was like, "Wow, like most most bullies never will apologize. Like you know, you no. don't feel like that." So it was really like nice. So nice. He noticed. He recognized, it, and he apologized. Like, oh, look, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry, whatever. And he apologized for all of it. But yeah, so I'm like, if I invite people to a party and they want to come, I'm like, what? You want to come? Like, even for like my dinner that I have when people are like, yeah, I'm there. I'm like, really? Like, you're going to come? <laughs> you're going to come to my dinner? I'm See, so that's excited. where I was. I was like, yeah. oh my gosh, she invited me to her dinner. Yeah, and I was like, she's going to come to my dinner. I'm pumped. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's but, so funny. Yeah, I think yeah, everything stems back from just like, when your brain's like developing. Yeah. Like, that's such a big thing. That's why like child stars too. Maybe that's the thing with you. Like, I feel so bad for some people that are, like, child stars and their brain's literally developing in front of the world. Like, yeah. that's insane to me. Like, you're 13, 14, and your whole world's judging you. I'm 24, and I'm still, like, it messes with my brain when I'm, like, reading comments and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I definitely have... Th the thing is with the developmental thing, mm -hmm. uh, everything that you're... Everything, everything that you are right now is something that you became between the ages of 1 to 16. Which sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why. Because it's like your most impressionable years. Yeah. But you wouldn't think of that when you're in them. No, you no. don't even a little bit think of that. I don't even remember really one to sex scene. I... Like, no. I remember, like, so I remember one girl cut my leggings up and my, put, threw my headband in the sink. Why? Oh, just <laughs> she didn't like she's mean? She just bullied me. <laughs> I had a girl that, um, that was, would randomly, like, she, like, slapped me and then kicked me on the floor. And then I started crying. She ran to the principal and said that I slapped her and kicked her onto the floor. I was oh, like, that's nice. With what muscles, first no, with of all? No, with what? Excuse me? Have you seen these fucking pipes? I'm the pipes? scrawniest <laughs> person in this entire school. Have you seen these school. fucking pipes? That's funny. Aw. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Ooh, Benji. What time are we at? We're at 55 minutes. Really? Uh, yeah. That's the fastest thing ever. Can we, let me just look at, it let me good, just see. It's a good shit. podcast. Is it? Yeah. Good. Because Rachel's the best. <laughs> oh, someone said she's cute. We know. <laughs> that was one of your questions. <laughs> what happened with her and that one dude from 2015? <laughs> oh, are you oh, still fostering up. your dogs? Um, I... I think that's great you do that, by the way. I should do that. You know what it is, though? Like, I don't even know if I should be doing it, because I always do it on, like, so impulsively that I see the dogs about to get put down, and I'm like, I can't let that happen! No, I'm like that, too. That it's, freaks me right out. That won't make me cry. Yeah, so I end up crying and then just fostering them. Um, I just think I need to take a pause on that for my mental health, because yeah. it's so draining should. for a senior yeah. dog to come and then die. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it is. That's, so, that's a lot. Um, I'm happy I did them, but, like... This is a really good question. Um... Someone wants to know about your journey and how you've managed to stay relevant for so long and your perspective on it. That's how did you stay rel like relevant for as long as you did? Just content, you would say? Um, the, the weird thing is, like, I, I don't even a little bit feel like I stayed relevant for all these I years. I mean, I think, I mean, you're still... I have imposter syndrome, though, so... Yeah, I was going to say, girl, obviously. calm it down. You're doing great. Yeah, um, I would say I just kind of posted. I don't okay. know if I actively did anything. I've just continued evolving. yeah. Um, it's nice that your fans probably grew with you. Well, they did grow with you. Yeah. Watching you grow up. It's just a... I don't know. I don't feel... I don't feel like that. Well, I think you're doing great. Thank you. I think you're doing, anything else we should go over? I would say... Do you like Carly? Uh, <laughs> I'm like, no, she's a bitch. She's a fucking bitch. I hate her. Is That's anything, why I'm here. Is there anything you want people to know about you that they don't? Yeah. That's a good um, question. Um, uh, let me think. Is there anything I want people to know about me that they don't? Um, uh, that she has imposter syndrome. Okay, here's a better question. Okay. Do you have any uh, opinions that are very unpopular that you stand by? You don't have uh, to share them, though. I'm trying to think. Like, I'm trying to think if I even have opinions. Um, <laughs> my opinions go back and forth too because I always try to think of things a million different ways yeah I try to see I try to see everyone's too. different perspective on things so um, opinions I guess an opinion that I don't I don't process is like why do people like give a shit about their ex like what their exes are doing and like who they're dating like you know there's like that whole song harbor is this how there's a whole feelings. song about like deja vu like do yeah. you get I'm like, I can't even process caring about the fact that my ex is dating someone new. Yeah, I don't really care about that. I don't know if that's an unpopular <laughs> opinion, though, or if that's just yeah, they, me being 26. That's, I mean, that's what people do. They, 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 people. they fixate on it. People fixate on relationships, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm. no. Not that I can think of. <laughs> um, oh. Oh, hey. 
What's Hello. up, babe? What's <laughs> <I did. laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Anyways, should I, can I wrap? Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming. Oh my gosh, thank you for that having me. It was great. Me. This is Rachel. Go follow her on YouTube. She has a million, freaking 14 million followers. But yeah. Hell Thanks yeah. for watching. We love you. I love you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a good review. Yeah, subscribe, yeah. leave a good review, and, and comment anything else you want to see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Carly Lawrence. Thank you so much for listening. I really, really, really appreciate it. If you could leave me a five star review, Give me any other comments, anything else you guys want to hear. I really appreciate it. And uh, I love all of you. You guys are the best.